This is James Elder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella. I'm in Sheffield today at the Napoleon Casino for the press conference ahead of Kid Galahad and Adam Matches' IBF International Contest. What's happening, lad? You alright? I'm alright, thanks, James. It's been a little while since we caught up. How you been keeping? Yeah, long time no see, but we've both been doing the same thing. You've been busy filming and I've been busy training hard. Indeed, indeed. 16 and 0, 13 of them wins coming by KO inside the distance. Feeling confident going into this belt? Yeah, always, I think. And as a, with every fight, you've got to be going there 100% confident. Um, all the hard work's done. I've trained hard, and I'm just looking forward to getting in there and doing my thing. How dangerous is Barbosa as an opponent? He's dangerous. He can punch. He's stopped his last five out of six. He's boxed for a world title a couple of times. Come up short, but you know anyone who's even fought for a world title is um, a decent opponent. As you say, he's on a good run, five wins on the trot, on the spin, so he's going to be coming in full of confidence, isn't he? Yeah, 100%. He's going to be coming here wanting to win. Um, you know, a win on his record could change his life. You know, he could get a, a big, an even bigger fight than me, you know, we, we, any other middleweight in division. Looking at his record, he's fought five times in Europe, he's, been, he's lost all of them. Will you be looking to continue that, that run of form for him? Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm the favourite. But it's a step up for me, and it's all about getting the right fights at the right time. Um, I just fight whoever, anyone, whoever my team puts in front of me, I will fight. And it, it's Barbosa this time, and you know I've prepared 100% for it, and I'm ready to get in there and do my thing. How important is it that you make a big statement and look good in front of Mick Hennessy and the Channel 5 cameras, mate? It's a massive, massive platform for me, and you know I'd like to thank Richard Pox and my manager and Mick Hennessy for making it Cheers, possible mate. for me to come on. Um, and there's going to be hundreds of people coming to watch me as well. Um, so I'd like to thank all them for buying tickets. And like you just, you just touched on, um, Channel 5, it's a massive platform and it's important that I look good and show everyone what I can do. Massive fan base for yourself in Sheffield and even growing to some of the surrounding areas and stuff. So am I anticipating a big, a big uh, Team Bomber contingent? Yeah, that's it, you know, the fans, for me, the fans make the fight. Um, when they're shouting and screaming and going nuts, they're, you know, it, it makes the fight better for me. I enjoy, I enjoy getting in it and I'm grateful for everyone coming and supporting me. Recently, Billy Joe Saunders versus Chris Eubank Jr. has been made. I know you've been on the tower with Chris Eubank Jr. for many, many months. Can you talk to me about, a little bit about that fight, how you see it going? Too much, too soon. Um, there's only one winner there, and I don't think the fight will happen anyway, if I'm honest, but, mm -hmm. but time will tell. Mm -hmm. If it does go ahead, can you see, see Billy Joe stopping him? I don't know about stopping him, I can definitely see, 100% see him winning. Mm -hmm. It's all about levels, what, what level do you think you're at right now, Ad? Um, I'm up there, I can't say that I'm not. I think, you know, should I win this on Saturday, I'm in top 10 in the world. I'm not saying that I'm ready to challenge for a world title by any stretch, but in Britain at the moment, I don't see as, as there anyone, anyone there that I would, would turn a fight down or be bothered about fighting. Mm. I think I'm I think I'm think one of the best in Britain. Do you think there'll come a time where you've got to look for that career defining fight, that fight, that, the, maybe that massive domestic fight that pushes you over the edge? 100, 110%. Uh, in every, every fighter's career, there comes a point for that, but you know, that's down to my manager and my team. They're looking after me. I just get in, train, and fight, and I'll, I'll never turn a fight down. So, whatever's, whatever's put in front of me, that's, that's what I'll take. Last but not least, have you got a message for all the Adam Etchies fans and all the people that will be tuned in on Channel 5 watching your fight? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'd like to thank everyone, all my sponsors that have all bought bundles of tickets to come and support me, Napoleons, iPower, Mercury Taxis, and most of all, just the general public, you know, you're all, money's tight at the moment, all spending your hard-earned money to come and watch me fight, it means the world, and um, other Western Park as well, give them a mention, the charity that I'm an ambassador for. Fantastic, fantastic, Willis, and I know you do a lot of charity work, you guys, last time I've, I was up, I saw you guys um, doing your thing and raising a lot of awareness and a lot of money and stuff. Fantastic to see you giving a little bit back, Ad. Yeah, that's it. You, you've got to give as well as as well as take. You can't go through life just being just taking things. So it is nice to give a bite from my own point of view. I can imagine. I wish you the best of luck with the fight. Um, press conference is just about to start, so um, let's see how we get on, and I'll catch you tomorrow at the Wayne. Thanks, mate. Thanks for giving us a bit of time, Cheers. Ad. Top man. Thank you.